Now, what I'm going to show you is how the QR code online ordering works, or to be specifically for the pay later function. All you got to do is try to start with signing in. Let's say there's an incoming customer and there's two of them and you would like to offer them to use the QR code online ordering feature. And from the table map, as you see, you, ch you choose to offer them to use the A3 table instead. All you got to do is just watch on the A3 table. There's two people. Now, when the pay later function is already activated, there will be an option to activate table and print QR code. All you got to do is just click on it and then it will automatically print on the docket. All you got to do is just to, break, to give the printed QR code on your docket to the customer for them to order right away. Depending on the which table, the table number will change and depending on the logo of your business, it will show the logo as well. This is how it looks. If you are already using online ordering feature, I believe you are already familiar with it, but pretty much you can customize it to your own likeness, to your own liking. Either change the logo on, on the page or maybe changes the background. And all of this menu will be made by us and it will be set up for free. There's no configuration or menu uh, fee that uh, will be charged to you if you decided would like to use the online ordering menu because it is within your basic subscription. Now, let me clear all the orders that I ordered previously. And let's say they would like to order spaghetti bolognese. Watch one, start. Now you see there's two choices for them to pay. Pay it by card, which means they'll pay it upfront. Or because we're discussing about the pay later function, they will choose to pay later. All you got to do is this touch on the pay later button and will be, the payment will be processed. Payment complete, It means if you look into your Abacus app, sign in, you will see there that the table turns purple, which means they already finished order. Now let's see what they ordered. Exactly the same, spaghetti bolognese without basil as we already put in on the notes. Which is quite convenient, right? For the pillar function. Now it will automatically already, uh, already printed on the docket. What are they ordering? Let me show you. Now, as you can see, the docket already automatically printed the order in the customers. One spaghetti bolognese, large size, without the basic. The customer decided to pay. All you need to do is just click on the table and then load order. Use the pay button. And you can decide whichever they would like to pay the bills. Let's say we just choose to pay cash instead. And that's done.